Hey there, YouTube, and welcome to Altcoin Picks. Today, we are doing our coin analysis on Current. This one is, I guess you could say huge. The Telegram group is ginormous. I'm super excited to bring this one to you. The ICO has already completed. This one was on my ICO sheet. The score is around an 80%. So I'm excited to bring this one to you. I've been wanting to do it for a while. I've been slacking and kind of put it to the side while I did Icon, Blockport, and a few others. Anyways, before we begin though, don't forget to smash that like button and if you haven't subscribed yet, smash that subscribe button it's way on the other side, that way. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. So of course, what will my current analysis consist of? We will talk about what is current, the CRNC purpose, which is their token, the team and advisors, the market cap, the competition and their partners, the prototype, the roadmap, and then we will end it all with a pros and cons section. I decided to take out the star section because I had a few people thinking that I was shilling ICOs based off of that score. So now this is gonna be a full analysis, full information. If you want my opinion, you can come into my Discord where I will answer all your questions. So what is Current? They are creating a multimedia network that rewards participants from creators, consumers, and enterprises for their role in the media consumption. The project is divided into three different aspects, the platform, the protocol, and the token. The platform allows users to navigate, search, and discover content by compiling media from sites such as YouTube, Spotify, SoundCloud, Twitter, and Facebook. As users consume media, an algorithm develops a preference and forms an identity based on their data creating the most comprehensive profile, offering better content, rewarding creators for their contributions, and providing a valuable commodity as data for third-party sources. So let's check out the coin's purpose. The CRNC token fuels the currency platform. The currency's protocol rewards a portion of each token mined to shareholders, whether they are consumer, creator, curators, referrers, or part of the growth pool. The coin will be used in their marketplace to buy digital and physical goods such as premium subscriptions to other platforms, tickets to shows, and so much more. <laughs> Advertisers will have to purchase this token to buy ad space on the platform. So of course, let's get to the team. Let me move myself over. The team has three stars, three superstars, and one master star. And as you can see, it's not the most amazing team, but definitely not a bad team. It's also fairly big, which is always nice to see when the team isn't superstar studded like a WAN chain or an icon. So let's talk about the top three members from this team. First, I'm gonna go with Trey Ditto. So I'm not sure of his position with the team, but he gets his superstar because he's had several top positions such as vice president and managing director at a few fairly big companies. He was also deputy press secretary for the U.S. Department of Education in 2006 and communications director for the U.S. House of Representatives in 2004. So he seems to have those connections. <laughs> Next, we have Amy Carr. So I'm not really sure what her current position is on the <laughs> current project, but she's getting her superstar because she's been in Forbes 30 under 30 list twice. And she was the vice president of content and strategy at Publicis Media and was vice president of global creative media at Starcom. So she definitely has those leadership skills. And then last, we have Jill Richmond. Again, I'm not really sure what her position was with current so yeah those three i'm not sure there's the superstar of the company though she gets her superstar for being the consulting director of marketing communications for singular dtv and a consultant at the world bank group she also has experience with arc and po.it or poet and she also writes for forbes so again like i said as you can see their team isn't the best but they might be making it up with their advisors. So for their advisors, again, I'm just gonna pick the best one for the sake of time, I don't wanna bore you too much, but they do have three stars, four superstars, and seven master stars. With, in my opinion, the best, of course, being Mark Cuban, and him by himself makes this a super popular idea. He's got those huge connections, we all know that. He's the co-founder of the successful startup broadcast.com, He's also known for his being the zealous owner of the Dallas Mavericks. He's also the star of the TV show Shark Tank, which is pretty much people trying to get funds for startups. 
Obviously, he's one of the most influential people out there and can really push a product to the next level just because of his name and his connections. So next, let's look at their market cap. So for their ICO, they had a 36 million hard cap, 350 million circulating supply, 1 billion total supply. It was 24 cents per token at ICO. And again, their ICO is already finished. So if you do want this token, you got to wait till the exchange. So now for their competition and partners. So for competition, they have Kin, which is a messaging platform where Kin tokens are used to reward users for contributing to the ecosystem. The token can be used to reward creators, access premium content in the marketplace, and et cetera. Then we have Bat, which was created to reward users for their advertisement consumption while using the Brave internet browser. While Bat main focus is to reward users for users' attention, Current is directed to multimedia consumption. Next, we have Steam, and I honestly don't like Steam at all, but it's an incentivized social media platform where you get awarded tokens from upvote input from viewers, and that's what I don't like about it. There's a lot of people that take advantage of this, and in my opinion, it's just not a good platform in general. Then we have Stream, which this one is an ICO that's in pre-sale, promises to link content and audiences across platforms. And then our last, but not least, we have Jet8. It's a decentralized mobile engagement network connecting influencers, audiences, and brands through the value of social currency. So that was their competition. I'm sure there's so much more, but those are the main ones that I believe were worth mentioning. Next, we have their partners. So they have many partners, but the most notable ones are DLA Piper, which is a global law firm. They got Audios. It's an audio and video stream recorder. Then we have Bancor. It's a solution to cryptocurrency liquidity. So that's one of the things that I didn't like. Their partners aren't super top notch, something they definitely need to work on. So next we have their prototype and the current app is already available on iTunes, which is a huge plus for this project in general. You don't see that very often. They already have 200,000 downloads and a 4.6 rating out of five. So the protocol and token monetization is not yet implemented and neither is the marketplace. Also, they don't have it for Android yet, but in the roadmap, it shows that it will be super soon. I have a few images here that you can look at from the iTunes store and from their website. I don't have any type of Apple or iTunes device, so I can't get on and download the actual app and show you that. Now we have their roadmap. So Q2 2017, they had the platform launch. It's almost been a year already. That's awesome to see. I love that it shows that they're already doing something and they've already been fairly successful at it. Next, Q1 2018, we got the initial protocol development. Then Q2, we got the wallet generation. Then version 1.3 update, improving performance and scalability. Then video integration of Netflix, Hulu, and you'll be able to record videos offline. Then Q3, we have the blockchain attribution launch, which rewards users for consumption. We got the Android platform, which is what I'll be waiting for. Then we can expand operating systems to iPads, smart TVs, and then Q1 2019, we have the version 1.2 blockchain attribution allowing any network to access and integrate current protocol. Then finally, we have the decentralized content distribution where creators can earn 100% of revenues. And then Q4, the current ad platform. So as you can see, they have a super extensive roadmap. I love that all the way to about the beginning of 2020. And I'm sure they'll update this. Love to see that. Now let's get to the final portion of my video, the pros and cons. So for pros, of course, their top advisors, especially being Mark Cuban, his connections and influence alone can really propel the project to greater heights. They have a pretty cool idea, at least for me, I like it. I think it could really change the way we watch videos, hopefully pushing for more quality content instead of quantity. There's a lot of YouTubers out there that just try to push out four videos a day you watch them and you're like, what the heck did I just learn? What the heck did you just do? Also, their app is already on the iTunes store with over 200,000 downloads with a 4.6 rating out of five. Shows they already have a working product, super awesome. Next, they've been on some top news outlets, including CNBC, and then they have a Telegram group, the number one biggest Telegram group out there in terms of ICOs with 100,000 people. That is ridiculous. I'm sure this has to do with Mark Cuban and being on those news outlets. Now for cons, they need better partnerships, ones that can really help them be successful. And right now it's really centered on ICO advertising and, and stuff like that, which I guess that makes sense, but it's not gonna help them in the long run. Next, they need to work on their team. They do have some great advisors, which 
I think make up for that. And hopefully their advisors play a big role on this, but they really need to get some more star studded team members. Granted, there's a lot of people that don't really care if they have a star team or not. I personally do. And then finally, their hard cap was a bit high at $36 million. Granted, they sold out at pre-sale, so it obviously wasn't that hard. And obviously people see it to be worth it. Either way, I like seeing a lower hard cap of around 20 million like credits. That's my video. Thank you so much for watching. I will be doing a credits coin analysis, hopefully tomorrow if I can get it finished. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much and I'll see you next time.